Thanks for watching. What have we got here today? We've got ourselves a new updated frame for our little Tiny Whoop clone. Uh, on the uh, first things first, uh, my Tiny Whoop is built from an original uh, Eachine E010 uh, complete uh, frame that I've upgraded. This is my replacement frame that I bought just in case I broke this one. So it's an original Eachine uh, 010. This is a brand new frame that Banggood have listed and it is a called an E010S. Now, what are the differences? The main difference that we're going to be concerned with is weight. So the original frame weighs in at 5.7 grams and our new frame weighs in at 3.8 grams. Now that doesn't seem a lot but if you've ever played with these little uh, tiny work clones, every 0.1 of a gram makes a massive difference to how these fly. So we've got ourselves a good little weight saving. What else are the differences between the frames? Now, on the original frame, you'll notice the motor supports are very flat and wide. On the new frame, you'll notice the frame supports, or the motor supports in here, are actually angular, very much like the original Inductrix. Now every much, everything else on the frame is very, very similar, so the layout is almost identical. Now apart from the vanes, what other differences do we have? The major difference you're going to find is in the material that the frames are made out of. You'll notice the new frame is very, very thin and quite squishy. The old frame is quite quite stiff and it doesn't really want to bend and twist. So if we take this one, it's it's quite stiff to try and bend and twist. The new frame, very, very easy and flexible. Is that gonna be a problem? Well, there's only one way, one way to find out and that's gonna be give this thing a fly. Another little benefit for these frames, for me, is I'm running these little giant power 200 milliamp um, battery packs. In the original induct in the original air chain frame, I've actually had to cut a few slots in there to allow the frame to expand just a little bit because it was a little too tight and I was going to rip the cable out. But because this frame is a little more flexible, that is allowing the battery to slide in there a lot easier than that did into the first frame. So I may not have to cut this. Uh, I really don't want to cut this because I think that's really going to damage the actual torsional rigidity of the frame. It, it's flexible enough as it is, so we'll just have to see how that one goes in flight performance. As you can see, both of the frames are available from Banggood. There is only about 15 cents difference between the frames, so it's not the dollar value, it's going to be how they perform. Let's go ahead and build this quad and I'll get back to you and see how it goes.